Hello, Nuggets. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the saga of my weight continues. Put my little paedophile glasses on. The saga of my weight continues because today I started a new diet. Uh, I, tried, I tried for the carnivore diet for about four or five weeks, but um, although I think it works, and although the diet is very good, my issue is that when my eating habits, because I'm a food addict, they're a house of cards, right? So if I break it in any way, I'm pulling the whole house down. So if I get an urge for a, a, a candy or a, a bag of chips, which is actually usually what it is, savory, and I have a bag of chips. I'm now into this mindset of, well, okay, I'm done now. So my diet's completely gone. And the potato diet, the carnivore diet, other diets I've tried, they don't handle that very well because it often, particularly in a ketosis diet, it stalls your weight loss and you have to get back into ketosis. So I'm trying a new thing. <laughs> I'm trying Jenny Craig. Yeah, we joined it today. So... Um, we just started, right? We went to get our food. We were both really hungry. So we went to get our food and we had a little bit of a late lunch. So I had their lunch, right? So if you don't know anything about Jenny Craig, it's a little more... I always thought it was basically just lean cuisines, right? You just go and buy lean cuisines and eat that. But they kind of plan the whole thing out, right? And there is some flexibility. They're not like naughty about it. But you can have... Like they'll have basically... Every day I'm on a 1700 calorie diet and I can have breakfast, uh, a snack, lunch, a snack, dinner, a snack, which is usually a dessert, right? And But they lay out exactly what you're having every day and you can swap days. So I can have day four's food on day one if I feel like it, but you can't swap between them. I assume because on some days, most of your calories might be coming from your lunch and not your dinner. And if you switch those two over, one day you might go over your calorie limit. I'm guessing that, but you know, you can't switch days. So today was day one. Uh, I'm skipping the breakfast because we didn't have our food. We hadn't signed up by then. But I got to have the lunch, and that's where I started with. And it was a cheeseburger. Now it's a Jenny Craig cheeseburger, right? So it's in a little pouch. It's frozen. It's in a pouch. You put it, wrap it in a bit of paper. You put it in the microwave for 90 seconds, and then you eat it. Okay. So first things first is it wasn't bad, surprisingly. If you're into food, it was bad. But compared to what I thought it was going to be, it wasn't bad. I was also very hungry at that point. I hadn't eaten for like six hours at that point, seven hours nearly. So I was super hungry. And with that in mind, it tasted better, which made me feel hopeful because if I'm hungry on this diet, I'll eat whatever they put in front of me. The problem was it wasn't enough. I mean, it's, it's a burger this big, right? And that's it. Now, along with that, I was allowed to have for lunch two cups of garden salad. And that's every day. And I told the person, at Jenny Craig, I will never be eating that, no matter what. I don't eat salad. I, eat, I do eat Caesar salad, but that's not really salad, is it? That's like a tangy dressing on a bit of lettuce um, with cheese and croutons. But I don't eat the salad. So there are foods that you can substitute in. There are certain things they call free foods where you can have, in theory, as much as you like. It's a little confusing because then in the book it says, you know, one cup of this counts as one unit of the food, basically. But you can have as much as you like. So why are we counting? It's a little confusing. So I didn't have anything. I just had the, the burger. Um, but what I will be having with it is I can have, for example, I can have peppers and onions and mushrooms because they're all on the free food list. And I can stir fry them. Now I can stir fry them with a little bit of cooking spray and one teaspoon of oil. But that one teaspoon of oil counts as one fat. So I have to look through and figure out where can I use a fat. Like I can't have a fat at lunch, so therefore I can't have that stir fry, so I've got to find another alternative. So it's confusing, is the point. It's just not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. And I'm a little concerned because that, I mean, it wasn't even close to enough food. It was, it was, it was this big. It was like, it was that big. That little thing. And I ate it. It was good. And I put it down. I immediately knew I wasn't satiated. But I'm also a clusterfuck when it comes to food. So for all I know, I am satiated and I just don't recognize that feeling. I'm hoping that's what it is. 
Uh, so here we go, Jenny Craig, day one. I just weighed myself from 288 pounds, although I weighed myself in the middle of the day with all my clothes on, so, but whatever. That's my weight, 288 pounds. Um, you can drink as much diet soda as you want. In fact, in theory, you can have as much zero calorie food as you want. So I can have as much mustard as I want. I can have, but I can't have as much mayo. Mayo counts as a fat. Um, ketchup, it doesn't mention anywhere, but I'm assuming I can have like a little dime size of ketchup. Um, I just got to be super cautious, stick to under 1700 calories, walk the dogs every day, which I do anyway, but walk as in proper walk, you know, two, three miles or plus. Normally I'm walking for a mile, but I'm going to try and make it longer now. Uh, and that's it. There you go, putting up in there, you know. We've done the potato diet, we've done the carnivore diet, we failed on both. I didn't fail on the potato diet, I lost a lot of weight. I just got really bored of it. The carnivore diet, I did fail on. Did fail on, totally. Just couldn't do it, couldn't do it. As much as I love the food. Now we're on Jenny Craig. And, um, yeah. I'll keep you posted. Right, you nuggets! <laughs> <laughs>